everyone, welcome back to our channel, or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Tiffany, and today I'm continuing on with my series on how to feed my family of four for $10 or less for a dinner. And what better way to start off the day with showing you guys, we're a little bit gloomy here today. You can see the clouds, it's rather chilly, I'll put the temp on the screen for you all, and everything like that. We're coming into some snow, so what better way to... Uh, make dinner for the family than to start some homemade chicken noodle soup. So let's go get in the house and I'll show you how it's done. Okay y'all, so as you can see, we're back inside. I'm starting to warm up from that cold outside. Sorry about the lighting, it's kind of off today because it's gloomy outside. I'll do my best. So I've got my stock pot here, as you can see. And um, Walmart had a deal going on on their rotisserie chickens this week when I did the groceries. So I got two of them. Uh, they were pretty much two for the price of one because they were chilled. So I've already removed all of the chicken off of the bones and put that in freezer bags to use for future reference for, for well, future meals. So right now you'll see I've got the one carcass. I also have behind me here on the stove, you can see right here, that pot there has the other carcass. I'm also going to make chicken stock to put in the freezer for a later use as well. So one pot will be the chicken soup for dinner and the other one will be the chicken stock, stock behind me. So, here's the first one. So we're just gonna open her up. And you can all see the bones are pretty much bare. So we're just gonna kind of put them in there. There we go. And as long as the container will let me. Bang out all the goodness. And now I've got two things of water sitting here with me right now. So that thing, so what you wanna do with the, to make the soup is you want to cover the chicken bones until the water is just covering them and then boil them down. So I'm gonna take this water and get all the yummy goodness out of the chicken. So that was two cups of water to clean out the chicken tray. Let's see, how did that do? Not even close. Okay, so we're gonna put the chicken tray over here and now we're going to take our big one. This is like, what, a liter's worth of water? And we're just gonna kind of pour it in until, like I said, the chicken bones are pretty much covered, which we are still not quite covered. So I'm gonna take a little one again and we're gonna get some hot water over here in my sink. All right. So, so far we've got six cups of water in here and it's still not quite fully covered. So now we got another two cups. I'm just gonna pour that in. And look at that, it took uh, eight cups of water, so got my handy dandy spoon. Just kind of push down the chicken, make sure it is submersed and everything like that, which it is. Now, I'm doing this now, and I'll probably do it again in a little bit, but you know me and my spices. So we're just gonna add a little bit extra, because this the, the rotisserie chicken was a barbecued one, so it does have a little bit of a spicing to it as well. But you know my family and me, we like our own little spices too, so I'm just gonna add a little bit while it does its boiling thing. All right. The garlic, the paprika, and a little bit of chili. Just a little, not much. Oh, we know it sounds like we have an eagle outside. It's not very happy. All right, so there we are. Got the spices now in my little pot. I'm just gonna kind of stir it around. Just gonna mix them in a little bit. Move the bones around. All right. So now I'm gonna take my stock pot and go over here to my stove. Uh oh, hang on, one second. Put it on the stove, there we go. So you see, it's on my stove. I'm going to turn it on to high heat to get it to come to a boil. I'm going to put my handy dandy lid on top of the thing. And we will be back with you guys when it's time to add all of the stuff into the, the soup to make it the yummy goodness that it will be for dinner. Be back with you guys shortly. Okay y'all, so while we wait for that to the chicken bones to do its thing in the water on the stove, I'm gonna show you what else we need for this recipe. So I got a can of cream style corn. I don't have any other corn in the house, so I'm gonna use this one today. So a can of cream corn. Then I got a can of sweet and tender peas. So we're gonna use the peas. Um, usually it's frozen, but I don't have any frozen in the house right now. So I'm just using, again, 
theme of the channel, use what you got, right? So those are those two things. I have some extra noodles here from like here. From macaroni uh, that we uh, stole the cheese sauce from for another recipe. So I have extra noodles. So I'm gonna use that in our dish today. That's about a cup, maybe a cup and a half in there. For that's for today as well. Then I have some onions. Don't know if you guys can see that, but we got some onions in there that I pre-chopped a little while ago. So I'm gonna use the onions as well. And then I've got a small and two medium potatoes that I'm going to peel and dice and add in as well. So let's hop into that while we wait for the chicken to boil. Okay, all so as you can see, I've got the potatoes all peeled. And I've got my handy dandy chef's knife. So now we are going to dice them. So you're going to want to cut and then cut like this. And then we want them really tiny bite sized pieces so that not only are they nice for the soup, but it'll also be good for cooking because it'll take less time for them to cook while in the soup. So we want to try to be as bite sized as we can get them. So. Y'all can see that they're not too bad. They're pretty good. So I'm gonna continue on and I'll be back with you guys when it's ready to toss her in. And there you all have it. There's the diced potatoes ready to go for when I have to add them. So I will let the soup do its thing and then we will be back with you guys in a little bit. Three hours later. Okay everyone, so I just wanted to give you a quick look at seeing what it looks like while it is simmering on the stove. So as you can see, it's been simmering, the bones are falling apart, the chicken's coming off, it's looking so good. If you pick up the lovely stock, it's looking nice and yummy. So now the next step is to strain out the bones and pick the chicken off. I'll be back again with you guys shortly. Okay everyone, so I have taken the bones out of the broth. And as you can see, they're sitting here chilling, getting ready for me to take the chicken off. So with the magic of YouTube, you're going to see this go from this to this. Isn't that amazing everyone? You didn't get to see any of that messy digging through the bones to pull off all this yummy chickeny goodness thanks to the YouTube magic. So now that we have this ready, we're going to go grab all the rest of our stuff and I'll show you how to put it together in the pot. Let's get to it! Okay all so as you can see I brought everything up to a boil. My chicken stock is up to a boil. So now I'm going to add the chicken. Oh, that's nice and in there now. Next, we're going to add the can of creamed corn. So you can make it see the creamed corn. And we are hitting the top of our stock pot, so. We're gonna take some of that stock out. Hang on a sec. Okay, so now that that's done, we're gonna add our can of peas. And then to top it all off, we're gonna add our potatoes. So 
So there it is everyone. Nice and hearty looking soup. So we're gonna bring that back to a boil. Let it cook for 20 minutes and I will show you what it looks like when it's in a bowl. Be back with you guys in a minute. Okay everyone, I just wanted to give you a sneak peek. It has now been 20 minutes and look at that yummy goodness. Now I decided not to use the noodles and I had forgotten to put the onions in. So off camera, I put the onions in and decided not to do the noodles. So now we're gonna get this yummy goodness into a bowl and go give it to everybody for dinner. Be back with you guys in just a moment. All right, everyone, so there you have it. It's nice and in the bowl already. I have a bun and a buttered bun beside it because hubby likes to dip in all that sort of stuff when it comes to soups or chilies. So uh, there you guys have it. There is the chicken soup. So as per always, I will put the total cost at the bottom of the screen and then I will put the total cost per person. And with this one, I will have some to freeze. So I will also put the per person cost with the freezing and the leftovers. So there you have it, everybody. Another cheap meal to feed your family that is very hearty and great during the winter months. I mean, I do this all the time whenever I have leftover chicken bones and stuff. I always make chicken soup. I do it with turkey too. Like, I mean, we don't like turkey in this house very much, but when we do have it, I use the bones and I make turkey soup. So this is a very versatile thing. Now you can add noodles, you cannot add noodles. Like I said, I forgot I put the onions in off camera and I didn't add the noodles because the potatoes made it hearty enough. But you can make it your own. You can add whatever vegetables you have in the house, whatever seasonings you like. You can, this is truly a meal that you can make your own and it is not that expensive and it feeds an army. So we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, maybe think about giving it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, come join the family so you don't miss out on any more fun and chaos and yummy meals because my goodness, we've got lots coming up these coming months. But as it is, I gotta head this down to hubby and then give it to the kidlet so we can get this dinner started. So I will see everybody in the next one. Bye everybody. Look at that everyone. It's snowing again. We didn't get the rain they were calling for. Nope, it got really cold and we got snow. Good thing I made chicken noodle soup, huh?